Firstly, connect the labeler applicator to the main power supply. Then, activate the power switch. Following, adjust the guide rails on both sides. And check the product can travel freely or not. We can turn on the conveyor. Choose English version. Test screen. Enter password. Confirm. Choose conveyor. Next to say, tear the bottle can travel straightly on the conveyor. Adjust labeling machine head position according to the bottle head. The dispensing edge is close to the product as it passed best with 1 mm gap. And we can adjust the labeling machine head using linear and vertical handle. Fold the blank bottom paper into the roller and insert the handle into the roller and turn it slightly to lock it in place. Once the winding finishes, tighten the first screw. Also this screw. Refer 
to the data setting of the labor beyond the dispensing cutter edge. Please use the test method when debugging. Don't open the automatic labeling method. Test string. Enter password. We set a minimum value 1 to test. Parameter calling. Test labeling. And you will. The label is not flushed with the dispensing age. For example, it's about 40 millimeters distance not flush. So we increase the data into 40 to test again. Parameter calling, labeling test. Okay, and only small. So increase data again. Okay, now you bend that. It's just the same position. So this data is okay. We should press parameter calling again. Then the system will remember the list data. And the last one is labeling position. It refers to the delays which adjust label position from the point at which the sensor see the product to when it dispenses the labor. The minimum data is 1, but we often set 10 mm for test firstly. Press start. Put the bottles on conveyor. Okay, you can see the label is more than the edge. So, if we want to move the label further down the product, we need to increase the value. Suppose is 8 millimeters more. So we increase data into 18. Also need further down. So we we need to adjust the parameter again. For example, twenty three. Now check it the position. Okay, perfect. So this data 23 is what we need to set. Remember to press parameter calling. Then the system will remember this parameter. The lamp label length refers to the speaker 
length or the speaker diameter. The product length refers to the total length of the product or diameter of the product. Normally, during debugging, the labeling speed is the first that should be the same as the conveyor belt speed. On this basis, fine tuning is performed until the labeling effect meets the requirement of use. If the labeling speed is much lower than conveyor line speed, it will cause labor pooling problems. If labeling speed too much faster than conveyor speed, will cause labeling wrinkle problems. The labeling speed refers to the linear speed of the labeling head per minute. And the conveyor speed refers to the value of the line speed per minute in the production operation. Output counting refers to the quantity of the product has been labeled in real time. And other parameter is more easily to understand, such as the output preset quantities. When completing all parameter setting, we can run the machines in automatic mode.